Welcome to Evil O. Exactly, exactly. That's a fantastic film memory. <laughs> again coming to you from Udaipur. This is Vazwa X Vazwa. And today we have a very exciting guest that actually I haven't had a chat with for the longest time, for years. Um, before I introduce him, I just have to say my usual, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. I'm also on Clubhouse now. We have a Evil O art club on Clubhouse every Monday night at seven. So please join that as well, as we have very interesting conversations there, in which you can actually speak back at me and argue with me if you wish. So before we go any further, let me introduce our guest today, who is Abul Hisham. How are you today, Abul? Yeah, fine, great. <laughs> and where where are you where are you speaking to us from? I'm from Trishur, Kerala. That's where you're from, but is that where you're speaking to us from? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You're in Tisha. Okay. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I always associate you with Hyderabad for some reason. Yes, I was there. I was there after my PG. I was, uh, my post-graduation, I was there for some seven years. Then uh, after 2018, I shifted my studio to Kerala. So presently, yes. I'm living and working in uh, Trishur, my hometown. And we kind of met, we were both part of this... Um, art workshop of some sort in Chennai. Yes, 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 yes. In 2011. And, yeah. and you and Dalip uh, Telekin ended up being models with me to send for a photo shoot. Exactly. In the parking yes, lot yes. of the Taj Hotel. Exactly, exactly. That's a fantastic uh, memory. <laughs> you were you were the jungly boys coming through the foliage as me too. Yes, exactly. I'm one of the jungly boys. <laughs> You were the One jungly the boy. boy. Yeah. Yes, exactly. exactly. And then I, I remember we went out for a really, really good banana leaf tally somewhere. Yes, yes, we had after that. After that, we went for a fantastic uh, tally. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Yes, so anyway, uh, I've been aware of your art for a while. And lately, it seems you've just exploded. You've really gotten a lot of recognition. Um, you're now being represented by, correct me, but Merchant Dani and Steinbrook. Yes, yes. By, yeah. correct? Yes, yes, yeah. And you've had two exhibitions there. Yes, two solos, uh, two solos, yeah. Okay. So how do you want to start? Would you like us to just tell us a little bit about your exhibitions at Merchant Dani and Steinbrook? What was the first one about? Actually, uh, my solo shows, I uh, started with the Kashi Art Gallery, exactly, with Anub and uh, Dori. Oh, Anup uh, and Dori, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I know you also started from uh, there. Yeah, I, I started with Anup and Dori, too. Okay, yes, that yes. was a yeah, long yeah. time ago. Long time ago, because exactly I remember I, in student time, I used to come to Kashi and I saw your uh, solo show. So it's in 2009 or something, right? 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long exactly. So uh, they, in that show, I met you first time. No, and okay. uh, after yeah, and after that in 2010, I had uh, my first solo show with uh, Kashi Art Gallery called titled uh, Domination. Then, uh, then after that in uh, 2014, uh, I had my second solo with uh, Mercedes Art Gallery. Then in recently, like 2019, uh, the third solo with uh, it's uh, titled called Recitation. A recitation is the third solo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what has been the theme that has followed through your work? I see a lot of, when I look at your work, I see a lot of, like many Carolyn artists, mm -hmm. I see a lot of concern with the land and mm. with agriculture. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I correct in assessing it that way? 
uh, more than that, I want to expand uh, it in a different uh, different format because uh, I think uh, uh, those were some of the social concerns, you know, that for not only for me, for every artist, that that are some of the concerns. It will reflect in their own practice. You know, for for me personally, I'm just uh, uh, like keeping in a juncture, you know, like uh, kind of a space between uh, 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 reflection to a very personal space and uh, reflection to a socio-cultural space. You know, my works are happening in these two kind of spaces. So once I'm saying it's uh, reflecting to a socio-cultural space, this all, whatever you said, you know, these all issues will, will also be a part of that. So it will, it will uh, of course, it will uh, uh, reflect. But I want to take it into a different uh, uh, dimension. Not only I don't want to locate my work, not only in that that thing, but but to a wider extent. Yeah. And you work with with um, oil on canvas or acrylic on canvas, or what are you, what's your medium generally? No, my medium uh, is uh, mostly I'm working with soft pastel, soft pastel on paper, and uh, it's been uh, a decade now, more than a decade. I'm working with uh, soft pastel on paper, and plus recently after uh, 2015 onwards, I started working with pigment based uh, uh, powder work, and uh, and recently on acrylic and small 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 format. But mostly my larger works are uh, are in soft paste, soft paste on paper. Yeah, I have to say I'm very impressed with how far you've come. Because when I met you, you were kind of an unknown artist struggling, and yeah. um, and suddenly you're with Merchant Donnie and Steinrich, which I consider one of the better galleries in India. So that's that's a big leap forward for somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nor age. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk a little bit about specific works, because what I'll do is I will insert them. And I have your PDF here. So the first one that I really like is you have a diptych. Yes. And the diptych is called Ripples and Waves. Yes. Yeah. That's absolutely beautiful. That's gorgeous. Do you want to tell me about Ripples and Waves? Yes, actually, that uh, that is one of my recent work, and that work is a part of one of a series of pool paintings. I didn't call it pool, but uh, it, it came like a pool painting. You know, I started in 2019, so with the first work titled as uh, Hidden Obstacles. That is the first work in this uh, series. So there, uh, I tried to portray a, a, a group of devotees. You know? So later, uh, that same people uh, came here in this uh, series that we are talking now. That uh, that's uh, that uh, two groups of people. You know, one group is just listening to a speech, and the another group on the bottom side, it's uh, like uh, moving to various directions. You know, so uh, it's it's all, and uh, there are some cats along with those people. And while this, well, I wasn't happened, I wasn't sure if they were cats or if they were white tigers. Are they cats? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're so not they're tigers. Cats, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was yeah. wondering if the people were swimming with the tigers. Yeah, yeah, it looks like that, you know, because of the stripes, you know, it looks like yeah. white tigers. Yeah, yeah, because they are they are under the water. It's only the bottom, like uh, the top area, we can see. So it looks like uh, a tiger. <laughs> well, I love it because of the coloration. You have beautiful color mm. sense in that work, mm. and also you have a beautiful sense of composition. And one part I really like is the skull. Ah, yeah, yeah, man There's is holding one... a skull, you know. Yeah, there's yeah. one skull sticking up. I don't know if it's on a hand or a branch, but there's a skull hanging there. Which yeah, really yeah. Really yeah. adds a lot to that. Yeah, yeah. That man is uh, holding that skull, and uh, and uh, people are looking at that skull. That maybe the man is that person is speaking something, or uh, he is showing something. So a group of people are looking at that, you know. So <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, he's looking at it, sort of like it's the line from Hamlet. Or yeah. York, I knew him well. Um, <laughs> something like that, but it's a beautiful diptych. And then the other one that I really like, and I think this was all from the same recent show, yes? Uh, yes, yes. The other yes. one is called Just Community Fishing Event. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And it's, once again, it's absolutely gorgeously constructed. And the colors, you have mm. such a sense of color scheme. Mm. I really, do, mm. do you want to talk about that? Yeah, that is also yeah, yeah. That is also coming in that uh, series, you know, community fishing event. You know, here there's a group of another set of people, but uh, they were also in that same pool, but trying to catch fishes. You know, so and but but here I am. Uh, there were um, uh, some of them were interested in catching fishes and the shadow of a fish also there. But here I'm interested in the ripples and that uh, my attempt is to create the 
interact with various motions, you know, motions of water and splashes. That's what I'm interested in that, like in this painting. Yeah. We're losing your sound a little, so you're going to have to move a little closer to your. We're doing this from mobile phone because Abul doesn't have a laptop. Yeah. Um, yeah. Try to talk to us the speaker on the mobile. Do you have a clip on speaker? No, no. Is it clear now? Hello. It's better, yes. It's better now. Yeah. Much better. Much better. Okay. Yeah, okay. much, much better, actually. Oh, we should have started like this from the beginning. Okay. Oh, very yeah. Good. Oh, oh, oh. Is it but fine we'll, now, right? Yeah, I think we'll I'll boost up the sound at the beginning when I edit it. I okay. Think. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, when when you approach these works, I mean, do you approach them just visually? Or do you have a story to tell? Is there like a deeper meaning to this work? Like community fishing event. That's mm. a very plain title. Mm. You know, mm. it, it's yeah, yeah. So is it just a community fishing event or do you have some deeper meaning lying beneath it? Yeah, it, it it denotes some kind of deeper meaning, I feel. When I put community fishing event, it can be you know, related to any kind of communities. You know? So more than more than directly, more than the direct fishing event, it may, it may denote something else. So so I feel that uh, title works for me really well. And the that uh, idea for this painting like uh, emerges from drawing, you know, from drawing of, you know, and one painting leads to another another work. So uh, uh, in that way, it started uh, evolving. You know, earlier, like on the beginning, there maybe I started like a drawing with one figure. You know, then 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 the drawing develops and it extended to multiple figures. You know, and while while drawing on paper on the main main paper, that uh, idea again evolves. You know, some some kind of uh, 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 interesting elements started to you know added up at that point while working. And at the time of coloring, also new elements started coming. So well, in that um, there's some hint of the, just the whole way that Kerala is and much of India, the way people come together as a community to do things. You know, <laughs> it's sort of a counter individualism statement, I find. And yet everybody <laughs> is an individual, but there's mm. this working together element, which I really like. Mm, yes, yes. Now the next one, I'm scrolling just through your PDF. So mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but this is so easy to do. Yeah. Um, a smaller splash. I love that because it's a reference to the David Hockney painting, a uh, bigger yeah, yeah. splash, I think it is. And you have all these people's feet up the side, <coughs> and you can see yes. a little small splash, which is somewhat similar to David Hockney's, but you have mm -hmm. these big black mm. curved stripes in front of mm. almost the entire painting. So what yes. do those black stripes represent? That black, <laughs> that black stripe, it's uh, it's a shadow of some waves that uh, you know, shadow of some ripples. You know, I try to uh, like put the entire shadow over a composition, you know, for a painting, you know, over that main image. I feel to add the shadows, you know, that uh, just to just to create a multiple, you know, interpretation. You know. So, so there's shadows from other ripples. Yes, yes, yes. The or shadow from of the ripples. Splash. Yeah. Yeah, and what's, a, yeah. What's the point of the people's feet at the top of the painting? No, the people are they, they were just looking at that, you know. So something something happened in that pond, you know. Some larger splash happened. So people are just uh, you know just standing. They were moving away. You know, some kind of situation well, it's interesting to me because yeah. the hole at the bottom, which is wherever mm -hmm. whatever fell in that made the splash, mm -hmm. is almost like this bloody black color. Mm -hmm. so it almost mm -hmm. gives me a feeling of suicide or something. There's something rather <laughs> ominous about. It's not a happy painting like a bigger splash like David Hackney. It's rather it's grim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah, agree? yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's not that happy in that way. But it's like you know something a question of uh, like something fell down yeah, in that pond. You know? So just you, question, since, what is that? Yeah. Since we're old friends, do you mind if I light up a beady? Oh yeah, sure you can. <laughs> it would it it wouldn't be evil all if I didn't smoke a beady once in a while. <laughs> yeah. As long as I don't set my hair on fire, <laughs> which I've been known to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, yeah, this one too. I really like complaining man. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really complaining a strange. Can you explain complaining man? To yeah, us? yeah. 
Yes, yes, exactly. That complaining man too, I called it because uh, it's a second painting. That first one happened like first one is a small painting that exactly like six inches by four inches, small uh, watercolor on rice paper work that happened in 2016. So this okay. is the second uh, second part of that painting, but it came in a large way, like seven feet by five feet. So here a man is just uh, sitting and uh, analyzing uh, the value of a pearl that uh, that is in his hand. You can see that if you will zoom. And well, he almost seems okay. like a sadhu. Yeah, he, he looks like. He's yeah. on the rug and everything, and he's yeah. contemplating the pearl. Exactly. But there's yeah. like yeah. bars behind him, almost like he's in a zoo. <laughs> exactly, because of that look like a cage, you know. So at the same time, a, a, a paper peacock, you know, is trying to enter to the space, you know, something like that, like a tableau, like we used to make those peacock, you know, with, uh, with the waste materials, you no, know, like the peacock that. is trying to get through the bars. Yes, yes. Can tell. To, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And maybe the peacock is a symbol of enlightenment. It's uh, uh, not exactly, <laughs> not exactly. It may that's what the image uh, interpretation may vary from. No person to person. That's the excitement of a painting. <laughs> then, then you did another one with with like a grid pattern of bars called yeah. Bad Harvest. Yes, yes, oh, Bad Harvest. Yeah. Explain yeah. that one to me. That's rather yeah, hard to harvest. grip. I'll get a grip on. You've got a horse in there and all sorts of people and yeah, yeah. What's it's going on in there? Painting. Yeah, well, no. I tried to portray the backyard of a home. You no know, backyard of a house. Like you know. Two, two couples were in conversation while, while the other, like at the same time, a couple were on the horse back. They were trying to, you know, jump or move, you know. So it's it's a kind of communication is happening. Maybe a quarreling, quarreling kind of things were happening on the backyard of a house. So the entire composition is again blocked with the grids, you know. So I, the grid pattern is like the grid of bars on a window. Yeah, exactly. On exactly. an Indian yeah, home, because yeah. almost all Indian homes have grid bars. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, bars like, like square bars, you know. For me, that right. uh, you know, some kind of puzzle making also. I, I I wrote many text inside each uh, square, you know, so we can so we can read that. Oh, well, you've written Thank text you. in these. Yes, okay. Exactly. You'll have to send me higher res images. <laughs> these for yeah. sure. Okay, the other one that interests me. I'm just scrolling down. I think it's yeah. untitled, but you have uh, something that looks like the red fork. Is exactly. And then you yeah. have like a big black snake mm -hmm. and a Muslim woman with a mask on. Do you want to talk mm -hmm. about this one? That one, uh, it's called heat rash. You know, the entire that couples are standing in front of uh, red fort. You know, denotes a red fort. So there, uh, they were in a kind of you know again a series kind of a conversation. You know, one that uh, figure is just walking to the opposite side, and that uh, female figure is just uh, kind of in some particular kind of a shocking situation. So the, again, the entire drama is juxtaposed with uh, with the shadows of a swan and a python. So on the overlap, you can see the shadows. So it's kind of a conversation between those two things. Yeah. And then you have another one that I just love called hidden obstacles. Yeah, yeah. Obstacles. That's a word I have a hard time pronouncing. Obstacles. obstacles. <laughs> um, that's another one like the first diptych. The coloration is so beautiful and the yeah, way you painted yeah. it. And in the background, it looks like there's foxes. Mm, the mm. background observing the people who are swimming or bathing. Yes, kind of. They were, uh, you know, praying in one way, praying. There were some are swimming, some are taking, like taking a bath. You know? So my intention is to create some group of devotees in one way you know? and, uh, and, uh, uh, and the kind of, you know, projecting uh, fear in one sense. So this is a, one of the first uh, first painting in that uh, pool paintings it happened in 2019. So, so this was a, like a ritual shower almost. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. Ritual shower. Yes, yes. Yeah. And the foxes are just observers. Fo yes, actually, they were in the. If you we'll look at the people, you know, they were uh, they were worried about something. They were so, act and at the same time, the foxes were looking at the at the weird activities of this uh, you know, group of people. So kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah. Like how strange these humans are. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you know, I love Carolyn Art. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm based in Rajasthan and I work with miniature painters, but I just love mm -hmm. Carolyn Art. There's something, mm -hmm. I always say that Kerala has the most definable 
art movement in India. Mm, mm, you know, yes. not Baroda, not JJ, not Bengal, but right now, you 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 can look at a painting and almost immediately you can tell it comes from Kerala. Mm, mm, you know, mm, I don't know if mm. I'm right about that, but it, there there's some sort of a style there that that has congealed. Mm, you mm -hmm. can look across many different artists, you know, KP, Reggie, and all everybody. And there's mm. always sort of this surreal, magic realism in it, um, which I like mm. so much. Mm. Yes, yes. I'm waiting yeah. for the big book to come out on Carolyn Art, which I hope that Post Krishna Bachari will do someday. Yeah. <laughs> or somebody like, I think I so. he keeps threatening to do that. I hope he actually does. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah. and then this one called Gulshan Man. Gulshan yes. Man. Gulshan Man. Yeah. Now this one I don't understand at all. Mm -hmm. You'll have to explain it to me. This one, yeah, that that work. It's a, I try to portray, you know, a, a, a protagonist and his lovers in one side, and uh, lovers or beloved servants. You know, they were taking care of this beloved master, and they were moving moving in water, maybe it denotes a kind of flood is happening at that time. So people are just moving with this protagonist. You know. So they were trying, in, they were in a competition to touch the master, you know, kind of, so the entire narration is designed like that. So the person yeah. on the raft is the master? Yes, kind of, yeah. It kind of looks like a hedra. <laughs> because of, uh, because of that jewelry, right? The because jewelry, of jewelry and the nose yeah. ring and everything. Nose ring. There's uh -huh. a beautiful nice. white horse behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some horses. And it, while working, it reminds me, you know, uh, like you remember that painting of that uh, miniature painting, Akbar crossing the Ganges, you know. So sometimes, you know, I, I, uh, I <laughs> that one. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, these are just gorgeous, of all. I mean, I'm flattering you a lot, but I'm serious. And now we get into one of my favorite series, which is quite mm -hmm. different, it becomes mm -hmm. much more subtle. And mm -hmm. that's the <clears throat> recitation series. Yes, it yes. It becomes yes. very dark and brooding. Mm. I'm looking at the first one. You have recitation three in the PDF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to yeah. tell us about yeah. that? Recitation, actually, the show's title uh, came from uh, this series, recitation series. So this is uh, one of third uh, third work in the in the series. Total of uh, five paintings came. Earlier, uh, my intention was to, I, I started with one painting, but on the uh, first one, I'm not happy with that. And I started uh, uh, like again and with the color change, with the texture change. And this is the third one. Here, I, uh, it, it's a broken grave. I try to uh, portray a broken grave with a snake, you know. So in, in, in some kind of you know, cremation ground, especially in uh, mm, yeah, Islamic mosque, you know, that mosque, that uh, cremation ground, we can see some, some broken graves when we will visit those spaces. It's the entire muddy slops down, you know, and the, the looks like very dark and broken. So I, I feel so strange, and I, I feel to portray and feel to draw that. It's and very it's, moody and very eerie, mm -hmm. and it yeah, sort of yeah. speaks of death. Mm, yes. It's, it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like and that. The, fir the first grave painting uh, I, I did in 2009, actually. That is the first grave painting. And often in, in particular times, you know, period of times, it used to come in my works, you know, the image of grave. So you've done more than one grave painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than, yeah, yeah. It's a theme you return to. Yes, yes. Often I return to. Often. Okay, the next recitation, recitation five, a hundred lights. Yes, yes. You have the final work in that series. You have mm. these strange vertical bars going across it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those yeah. are uh, these incense sticks, you know, incense sticks or agarbatis, you know, we use. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, entire composition, over the entire painting, I just placed incense sticks, you know, just a broad action, just kept incense sticks as an offering for that, for that disease. So, does and, uh, recitation like refer to like a puja or like some uh, sort of holy recitation? Uh, not only a kind of a chanting, you know, chanting, uh, uh, it, it may denote that or some kind of, you know, more, more than a puja or uh, reciting some some uh, memories, you know, from our own. Just okay. recalling, yeah. A recitation of something in the past? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the philosopher's death. Mm. I think I'll skip that one. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down a little trespassers. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about that? Yes. Just yeah, I think. Bit. Yeah, trespassers. It's uh, uh, it happened in 2016, 17. Uh, here, a group of conversation is again a conversation is happening with uh, sadhus or, or in, and two boys were secretly hiding behind the woods and watching the con their conversation. You know, so some and the one one sadhu is just doing an unbelievable task. You know, they're like juggling stones. So there's a reference to a Mughal miniature painting for this work. You know? And his lungi is falling off. Yeah, <laughs> one 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 person is sleeping and uh, one sadhu is sleeping and trying to catch one stone. So this kind of very small, uh, interesting narration, you know, for me, uh, quite exciting. For while so I think I want to end on this next one and going through your work. Yeah. Black stone breakers and a letter hmm. Gustav. Gustav. Yeah, Gustav Kurbe. Gustav. Gustav or Master Gustav Kurbe. Kurbe. Yeah. It's a sort of like homage to uh Kurbe's painting, no stone breakers. So it happened in 2013. I did this work. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the idea, like when I saw this master's work, it's originally it was a large painting, right? eight feet by uh, five feet work of this master. So when I saw the original, uh, like the reproduction image, I saw behind, like under the hammer, there is uh, there is a figure is just coming out from the backyard, you know. In, uh, so and it, that figure looks like a kind of uh, in a bourgeois class kind of figure. So I feel I I, I was so uh, like uh, you know wondered how could they played you know very beautifully in, in, like without like by hiding you know those images and how he uh, beautifully communicated his politics through his work. So, but I didn't read that point anywhere. But I, for me, I feel like it's so interesting, and I feel to uh, recreate that work. And it's a home, like it's a tribute to your master, and as a respect to your master. I don't, as a respect, I wrote a small letter on the left side corner, like uh, from a student to a master. So I wrote a letter on the on the left side, left side top, like dear Kurbe, I'm taking your painting. It's a small letter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. When was when 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 was the show held? It was held pretty recently, correct? Uh, in two thousand nineteen, uh, March. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have another show in the works. Uh, other show that uh, one show is happening, you know, in in Alapi that uh, Logo Metarawad is happening. By okay. Yeah, yeah. But will you have another show at Merchant Dani in Steinbrook? Oh, uh, hopefully, hopefully so. Hopefully, mm. but you have to work towards that. Yes, yeah, I have to work towards that, and some residencies are on the way. And, and I see you have a, a painting behind you that you're obviously busy working on. <laughs> well, <laughs> like you, like your tagline, no, we are always working. <laughs> we are always working. Now, good. Yeah, we're always working. You have to remember that. The only yeah, way to yeah. get anywhere is always working. We are always working. Yeah. Lately, I've been taking Thursdays off to go swimming. As it's oh up here in Udaipur, I need at least one day to just go and pull Oh, off. yeah. No yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. Recently, I have been to Jaipur and, uh, you know, Jaipur, uh, in, in not recently, in 2019. So next time, uh, we will catch up. And if, I you, have, if you come up to Rajasthan, come and visit me in Udaipur. Udaipur is a beautiful mm -hmm. place. If you've never Definitely, been here, yeah. we'll yes, take yes. you around. It's just a gorgeous place. Next time. Yeah, yeah. But Last avoid time the hot I... season. Ah, yeah, hot season. Yeah, that's Avoid true. Avoid the hot season. Yeah, that's true. Advice. That's true. Yeah, next time I will come. Last time I came with my uh, family and parents. They were also there, and we visited the entire, uh, you know, Jaipur and encountered very beautiful miniatures. You know, in Albert Hart Museum. Albert Hart Museum, that uh, largest miniature painting. You know, you you remember? Yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Very such a great inspiration for me. Like wonderful collection of miniature paintings in. in so like, I don't like these to get too long. So I'm going to end huh. it. Yeah, yeah, sure. It was really a pleasure talking to you after all of these years. Yeah, great. I can't Thank remember you. the yeah. last time I bumped into I did bump into you somewhere, but I don't remember where. I think it's in Kochi in 2014 Biennial. Kochi maybe Biennial. 2014 Biennale or maybe yeah, Air yeah. Fair or something like that. Yes, yes, we met. We met at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yes. wonderful to see you. I'm so happy you're doing well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Aswaji. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so I have to do my goodbyes here. So this is Evil O from Udaipur once again asking you to like, please, important, like and subscribe. Also remember that there is now the Evil O Clubhouse on the Clubhouse application. It happens every Monday at 7 p.m. 
We have interesting guests like Seema Kohli and Dirpameet Roy. We've had printmaking groups. So tune into that also. And I'm just going to say goodbye to Abul. So you yeah. have to wave and say goodbye. 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 <laughs> bye, Abul. See you next bye, time. Bye, bye, bye. See you next time. Yeah. Thank you.